another day it's another lack of dollars and it's another fun time because we are going to play some more PlayStation games ready for my top 100 list so as normal I'm recording a clean copy of all of the footage I record tonight ready to put into one of three possible lists a top 100 PlayStation games of all time the worst PlayStation games of all time and the biggest disappointments for the PlayStation of all time. So, I have started, and it seems to have failed miserably, but I'm going to try again, with some games that I have fond memories of, but I don't think they're going to age too well. This is Jet Moto, or as you may be familiar with if you live in the UK, Jet Rider. Or is that the other way around? Well, it doesn't matter which way around it is because the game's not going to bloody work, is it? Right, so let's skip Jet Moto. Moto no no. Let's go straight into Jet Moto 2, see if we have greater success there. 
Moto. Moto, no, no. Nope, they are all going to fail miserably. So let's skip the Jet Moto for now. We will do that on another day with another MU. Or maybe on the real hardware, depending on how much of a pain in the arse it's going to get running. So, I don't really want to do bad games today because I did a load of bad games yesterday. I did uh, the Dragon Ball Z games. I did Hooters Road Trip. I did um, Is No Good, which is, is dreadful. Um, let's play something I've never played before, but I've been recommended. If it works. Is anything going to work tonight? Is it going to go? It's just one of those nights. Oh yes. One of those nights. For a baby. Uh oh. The stalk's being gangbanged by gargoyles. Survive that fall. Makes a massive crater in the floor and out pops. going to lower the volume right down to stop myself getting a content ID strike. They're rocking and rolling, ducking and diving on a boat. Now we're on grass. Grass in the ass? Ooh, flaming and tentacles? What the hell is that made out of? Oh, seismic charge destroying the place. Oh no, that must have been my home. Oh no, I'm going to cry. And now, what's that? Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. It's got shiny tits. Her boobs are flashing in the sky. Pow. Oh no, we're riding our little dragon space hopper thing. Whoosh! With Tinkerbell in tow. Night and Baby. Now, I've never played this game before. I've never heard of it. I got recommended to check it out by one of the viewers. So, here we go. It's a relatively obscure game. Well, I say relatively, I mean totally obscure game. As I said, I'd never heard of it before. I've never seen anything on it whatsoever. I don't even know if it's going to load. Is it going to load? Or do we have to switch MU yet again? I'll tell you what. I'm not having much success with PlayStation MUs. I keep having to jump and switch and change and flip and flop and dip and drop. Alright, let's switch over to this one. See if we can get the game running here. After all of that build up as well. Yeah. You can tell this isn't pre canned, pre tested, pre thought out, or have any pre production value. It's just me, a camera, and some games. Here we go, take two. Let's see if it will run on this one. Now this is the more accurate emulator of the two, but I have to put the games in a special kind of order for this to work. Okay, this game seems to be working now. 
There's my stalk. They're the aforementioned gangbanging gargoyles. Gargoyles. There's the lightning. Let's skip it. We saw it in the intro, right? Let's roll. I, I have no idea what this game even is. I don't know what genre it is. All I know is there's a knight and there's a baby. And some rudimentary 3D polygons. And some text I can't read because I only can read English. I sure hope this isn't an RPG. It's looking awfully RPG-ish to me. That's not here. No RPG. Be a platformer or something. Come on. Why would anybody recommend a Japanese RPG for me to play? No. I'll be so disappointed after that build-up. That intro looked awesomely strange and unique. Who knows? Maybe it's a puzzle game. Maybe it's an on-rail shooter. Maybe it's a complete weird, wacky Japanese type thing. I have no clue. All I know is this panning camera is getting old real fast. Real fast. Which is ironic, because the camera's panning real slow. And I can't skip it. I'm pressing the buttons and nothing's happening, so we just gotta sit and wait. Oh joy! Oh joy! Well, there's the town we saw in the intro, so we can't be far off now, surely. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, how many rooftops do I really need to see? Oh, there's our Tinkerbell look-alike. 2D Sprite Tinkerbell. Now where's she going? Over the green muddy texture. Over the brown muddy texture. Over the blue muddy texture. Over the triangle trees. And back to the damn roofs again. Okay. All right now. Ah, oh, no, this is going to be a JRPG, isn't it? Why you recommend this to me, people? Why you do this? Hi. No. Not hi. Okay, hi. There we go. Right. Skip, 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 skippy, skippy, skip, skip. Okay. We are on our way. It's a JRPG. Oh no. my home. Aww. Who knows, maybe if we leave the village it might get more interesting. No analogue support by the look of it. Nope, no analogue support. Oh, would you look at that? The stereotypical, you shall not pass the bridge until you've spoken to Hujima Flippy. Is this Hujima Flippy? No. Is this Hujima Flippy? 
No. We'll go into each and every house. Leave quieter than a mouse. Yeah. Some dialogue. More dialogue. Anybody here read Japanese? Because I sure as hell don't. steps no okay. well this is exciting back to my house again that I keep st stumbling in let's try this one anybody home no, of course not. Nobody's home. Hey kid, maybe you can take me to the obligatory must speak to person. Ah, something happened. How about this one? Nah. Okay, let's try going over the bridge again. Now, I haven't been given a, a stereotypical weapon. Did I go up the staircase building? Let's check it out. Hmm. Is there anybody else to talk to? Oh, look! He's disappeared. Oh, I've never seen that happen in an RPG before. And we're off. Now. Do we need to equip our items, or do we have it already equipped? We already have it equipped. Good. Oh my word. Okay, nice visual effect, but it's still the old style RPG. Kind of cool music. hate RPGs like this. The only thing worse is the uh, invisible random battle encounters. Oh, I leveled up. Hooray! It's a shame that this never came out in English, because I think, with the art direction and everything, I'd be quite interested in playing this. You know, it's not a bad looking game, especially in those battles, but of course the lack of English just completely kills it. Now, if you can read Japanese, maybe you'll get a kick out of this, but for me, it's just another JRPG I'll never understand. That must be a grave of some description, but can I do anything? Can I interact? Nope. That fade effect's kind of cool. I've got to like that. Pow! Bow. 
I can see why this could be recommended, but maybe the guy who recommended it had no idea I couldn't speak Japanese or read it. Oh, what's this? A rat with a question mark rammed up his butt. No matter, I will destroy him regardless. Wow, he just whipped me. Level up again. I take it you don't replenish health in between fights, so... What have I got here? Just options. There's no magical English option, is there? No. Nope. Okay. We've got any healing potions. There we go. Get away. Leave me in game. Oh, the bridge is broken. Let's go to the cave. Oh, we can't. What are we waiting on? So we can't read what's on there, can we? Yes, we can. Okay. So here, the language barrier makes this at an impasse. It's saying something about... I'm not letting you in the cave. So, I'm not going to play. Because, well, as I say, unfortunately, while it was recommended, I have no idea what's going on, purely because of the language barrier. So, unfortunately, Night and Baby, while it looks kind of interesting, is something that I just can't play. So, regretfully, we will have to end that particular game right there. But how about we do something a little different? Now... How about we do something really different? Who likes sports games? Nah, don't raise all your hands at once. No. No, one at a time, please. One at a time. Should we have a little look back at a game that never was? A game that never came to be, which is quite surprising considering how big the franchise was at the time. I mean, this 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 franchise was absolutely massive, especially in, this, in the US. You know, it sells millions of copies. Millions! And it's still current to this day. Every year they release this. Um, and it's... Well, back then it wasn't the best NFL game in the world, but uh, but it's turned into the best NFL game in the world. This is Madden PlayStation 1996. This was never released. Madden never came out on the PlayStation until 1997. So let's check it out. It's going to look gash. Old sports games in this particular era always look gash. They're trying to mix 3D with 2D sprites, and yeah, it just didn't always work. But visual concepts are behind this, and they are a great company. So, um, high hopes. My disc is coming up with all kinds of errors. Is it going to work? Of course, this is a beta. Yeah, look. Fatal error. Timeout. So we'll try the, the other MU, see if we can get it working on there. 
there is going to be a lot of jumping back and forth between emulators because I've since found out that PlayStation emulation isn't as solid as I thought it was. Um, I thought it was pretty much banged on at this point. Much like Super Nintendo, much like Sega Mega Drive, but that's not the case. It's still kind of a mess. So we've got pre-season, season or scouting report. Let's go for a season. New season. By the way, I suck at NFL games. So let's check the schedule. We've got Cincinnati and Indianapolis, Cleveland and New England, Houston and Jacksonville, Carolina and Atlanta, San Francisco and New Orleans, Tampa Bay, Philadelphia, St. Louis, Green Bay, Detroit, Pittsburgh, NY Jets, Miami. Well, I'm a, yeah, I'm a Cowboys fan. Where's Dallas? There we are. Versus the Giants. Let's do uh, an eight minute game. That seems like a good amount. Gonna receive. Remember, it's always better to give than to receive, unless it's blowjobs. Okay, so here we go. The unreleased Madden 1996 from the PlayStation. Um, from the presentation, I can kind of see why it never got released. Oof. Okay. What do I want? Um, we'll go for a rollout play. Long loading times between each play. That's quite considerable. by accident. Down at the Yard oh, got a loss for that. Okay, um... Still full back dive. And again, that loading time. Oof. I could see why they didn't release it. Yeah. Second and long. That, is a, that is a game breaker. How do I actually start the play? Oh, with the circle button? Okay. So I'm losing ground quite badly. Let's do a screen. If not, I'm going to have to pump the ball away already. Third and long. What? Where's my pass? Wow. I couldn't pass. So we'll get the special teams out, we'll pump the ball away. Okay, the camera angle is totally messed up in this beta version. It's, yeah, it's, it's a goner. If you hold the button, it goes mental. Interesting angles, though. I have no idea what the controls are for this game. I'm just winging it, basically. It looked like you ran into the Madden Cruiser. Not down at the 47 yard line. Okay. Okay. 
Actually, less nickel. Let's uh, run out of time to make my selection. So what happens there? What play do I make? Second and long. Okay. Let's go for a safe blitz. Third and long. Oh, okay. End of the quarter. I made the games quite short, so. I wonder what happens with the two minute warning when it's only an eight minute game then. We'll go for the safe blitz again. Third and long. Okay, the camera angle just went mental then, so I have no idea whether I, I stopped him at first down. Yeah, they're first down, damn it. No, actually, I stopped them. Oh, sweet. Okay. I had no idea what was going on. So it's my first down. I'm on offense again. Woo woo. Knocked down at the 42 yard line. Okay, I, I got to figure out how to pass. This is this is bad. So let's do a PA pass. So I'm guessing I double tap the circle button rather than cross. Second and long. Hey. No, he just drops the ball like a tard. Well, that isn't that wonderful. Okay. Um. Screw it. Let's go all in. I don't get it. So we're going to have to punt the damn ball again. Screw it, let's fake punt. Go, 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 go! Knocked down at the 38 yard line. Yeah. Madden's come a long way. And I'm so glad that this didn't get released. This is uncomfortable. See, I love Jad Madden number uh, 93, I think it was, on the SNES. Really liked that game. Loved it. That was my first kind of real foray into NFL. That's the game that got me interested in the game. On the sport. But this is a major step back in terms of playability. But my favourite game was NFL Quarterback Club. I loved that on the N64. Really, really enjoyed NFL Quarterback Club. It was great. And then, of course, the NFL Blitz games for the more arcade approach and everything like that. Yeah. This is a, a major step back. Okay, so what are we? Second and ten, so... Let's go dime formation, preventing. Loading times. Oh. I think we're going to have to check out Madden 97 just to see what the differences were from that extra year. Yes, interception. Yard line stopped in his tracks by Callaway. Okay, let's go for um, pro form. Let's toss it left. First 
Houston can. Nah, stopped in our tracks. Okay. High form. Let's go for the dive. Second and long. I got caught on my own player. <sighs> Should we bomb it? You gotta do the old Hail Mary once in a while, right? Third and nine. No, not an audible play. No. I right, pressed the wrong button. I have no idea what my audibles are. But it doesn't matter because I am going straight to the end zone. Woohoo! Can't stop this train. Or maybe you can, the game can crash. Completely. <laughs> when the animation played, the game just totally froze and shut down. <laughs> Oh, the joys of betas. Any great. Anyway, I, I'm I'm intrigued. Let's see what the first officially released Madden game looked like on the PlayStation. Bit of a step up in presentation already. You can see where that extra time went. It's in the game. The old Super Bowl rings. Yeah, nice. Very cool presentation. There it is. It's playtime. Places in, and I fell out. The pre kneeling days of NFL football. And there's John Madden. Remember when John Madden was actually in Madden? You remember that? He's not in there anymore. He was very rarely in there, last time I checked, anyway. Nowhere near as prevalent as he used to be. I wonder what's going to happen when he passes on. Is it just going to be NFL 2034, or or is it going to be a Madden tribute game? What 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 will happen? Who knows? Well, the game's finally here. The teams are taking the field, and they're about ready to kick it off. Okay. So this one, the polygonal backgrounds have improved quite considerably. It does appear that we are still using sprites for the main players, though. But the sprites have shadows. Kind of nice. Uh, we are going to receive the ball. Yeah, it's much better presented already. And it's a lot smoother. So that that I think they made the right decision in cancelling Madden 96. And just focus on this. That's a way to hit him. Sounds better, looks better, feels better, presentation's better. Let's go for um. Hmm. Let's go for a dive to start the game. Come on, Troy. Do your thing. Ah, oh, five yard gain. Do a quick, uh, not a quick post. Couldn't get my pass off. Go 
for a quick post this time. Oh! No! Bollocks. There's a flag on the play. Oops. <laughs> uh, encroachment. Defense. When you get in goal lane, everyone has to get to the ball carrier. Ah. The animation's a lot smoother though. And it doesn't crash. Look at that. The kick is up. It's good. And it's good. Okay, there's the scoring drive. Let's go over the recap. Red, blue, red, blue, red. Sounds like a rap track. Let's go. Let's return this. Come on, come on, ah, 37 yards, not bad though. Go for the old HP draw. Come on, 18 yards. Okay. Nearly a first down. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, so close. All right, it's that goal line. Go for a broken goal line with a halfback sweep. Yeah, this is where a defense really earns its money when you get down here around the goal line. Oh no, that was a bad, bad move, bad move. Okay. I'm gonna try and pass it into the end zone. Ah, out of bounds. Try sneak. No, ah, it's goal line. Four yards. Do we go for it? Do we go for it? Yeah, why not? Let's go for a wide HB dive. Oh, so close. Yet so far. What an improvement a year makes. Come, Madden 96 was a mess. This is much more coherent. Much better presented, much smoother, much better to play, much better looking, much more fully featured. Yeah, good work. Good work in 12 months. Yay! Completed. No. Uh, that was a great effort. 
Okay, well, I think that's enough Madden 97. But while we're doing the Maddens, let's go for the most recently and final Madden game on the PlayStation. So we'll skip several years. We'll go straight to Madden 2005. I'd stop playing PS1 versions of NFL by a long time at this point. I think the last one I played was Madden 99. Um, and even then, I think I played it on the N64, not the, not the PlayStation. Um, or oh, did I play it on PC? I might have played it on PC, actually. Well, let's go for it. So where's my Cowboys? Oh, you got classic teams as well. 94 Cowboys. It's got to be done. Go for the Dallas coach playbook. Here we go. What, you got combos now? Is this a fighting game? <laughs> Normal low, high, counter, audible. Throw. Low jab. Low blow. Wow, so now they're fully polygonal. Got lens flare and everything. Look at that. Interesting matchup as we've got the Dallas Cowboys square off against the New England Patriots. What a difference eight years makes. Looks pretty good. And of course at this point, the PS2 and the Xbox were the you know the 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 main target systems so they downported they didn't even try to you know maximize what the system could do they just ported down so they didn't they didn't really cater for the ps1 at this stage but it still looks really good he sends this one toward the end zone run smooth Looks good, looks clean, looks crisp. Presentation's not bad. Um. Go for a HB delay. See if we can sneak in. Number 21 gets the call. Ah, not quite. Still get four yards out of it though. Know when you're gonna find some room and break loose into the secondary. Do a play action. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. They'll run it. No, it's a fake. Ah. I think that's pass interference more than an inception. Doesn't find its intended target. The quick curl. And they're lining up with three wide. Back to pass. Mm. The little lob doesn't find its intended target. <laughs> Love a little animations. Okay, so we're four and six. Let's go for it. Two extra defensive backs. The defense is in the dime. Number six looking to pass. No! Son of a... Well, I guess it doesn't matter because they were going to get the turnover anyway, so... That was a great pick. He was reading the quarterback like a book. Yeah, look at the action replay. It, it runs really smoothly. I'm, I'm quite pleased at how well this actually works on PS1. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Dylan gets Boom. The toss. Get that out of here. Let's blitz him. Blitz. The Patriots line up with three wide receivers. Cut. Cut out. 
Here comes the blitz. Looking over to the right. Put him under pressure. Hello, stuttering from Mexico. How are you doing? Brady with three wide receivers. Ah, get that out of here. No one able to catch the fluttering things. That's right. Up there long enough, you would have thought someone might have gotten under. So let's go uh, special team. Go for a safe punt return. You're on vacation. Oh, nice. How's Mexico? Did you have any trouble at the border? Oh, that's nasty. Drinking a good old bit of tequila, stuttering. Very nice. I wouldn't mind going to visit Mexico one day. Oh, you are Yeah. A bit slow on the throw. Let's go for a tight end cross. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Oh, I'm sacked. Ah, oh, no. Sack. You son of bitch. Nice sack. So we're third and 16. Um, do a play action. Try it. With an extra DB, the defense is in the neck. They'll run. No, it's a fake. Yeah, get that first down. Ooh, ooh. He did a nice job to come up with that four. Yeah, the receiver showed great ability there. Good shotgun. Let's go. Um, double flag. Nickelback in this time. No! Spent too long. Spent too long in the pocket. That's another sack. Two sacks in, in three plays. That's not good. Let's go for the halfback lead. Come on, let's push on through. Oh, I'm stuck. I just got stonewalled. They ran it there. A successful running attack requires good blocking up front to be effective. Let's go for the corner shots. The Cowboys line up with three wide receivers. Number six. I was under pressure. I had to throw it. I saw that sack coming. Uh, yeah, you can tell by the way that thing just popped up there. Fourth and twenty-one is impossible, so we're going to punt that. There's no point trying anything else but a punt at that stage. Oh, that's an awful punt. Okay, fair catch. All right, you can have that. It's blitzing. The Patriots line up with three wide. Homie, receivers. don't play that. Oh, it's going for the pass. It's complete. And then he gets down. Number 39 records the stop at the 36 yard line. Curse you, Tom Brady. Go for the double sting. The Patriots line up with three wide receivers. Number 39. That's short. Brings him down at the 25. Uh, no. First down. Oh, are you kidding me? Go for a cloud. Fluffy cloud. Receiver. 
Brady. Oh. The referees want to discuss a penalty. And they go, put, 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 put. was the penalty that was no penalty let's break it down and then get out of town but the kick is good and the game is good Madden 2005 is a massive step up from the older games but that's enough Madden for one night We've done three Madden games. You can't really do more than that for Madden. Come on. Let's get something a bit more lively, shall we? Now, a bit more lively. What's a bit more lively? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if this is any good. If it works, come on. Is it going to work? Drum roll, please. No, of course not, because that would make life too easy. Here we go. Uh, this is another game I've never played before. And it's a licensed game. This is Michael Schumacher, but it's not Formula One. No, no, no. It's kart racing. Such a shame. The guy was on the top of the world. Michael Schumacher. Top of the world in racing. Top of the world Formula One player. I have driver, should I say. And then it up crumpled at the bottom of a hill on the slopes on the skiing. Uh, such a shame. He, he was iconic in Formula One for so long. And now he can barely, well, do anything. It's, it's horrible. But let's harken back to his earlier days when he was a kart racing champion. And let's see if this is actually any good. Good championship. Let's do the fun 200cc. And let's roll. Looks alright. Sounds all right. Does it play all right? Okay, so we've got the lean. The player leans before the cart does, just like real cart racing. We've got some accurate slide physics too. Very nice. Dark Horse Michael Schumacher's kart racing. This feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. tearing along the track at 40 odd miles an hour. Have different views to look at. Whoa. First person view is a bit robotic. Not much in the way of lean. You don't get that accentuation like you do from behind the racer. It's 
slides were great. Not very good at them. The enemy AI just wants to ram me off the road. Too tight, you spin out like that. Whoa, no So of course this isn't kart racing like Mario Kart Crash Team Racing Kart. This is supposed to be a kart racing sim. It's it's a surprise to be honest. The last kart challenge game I played was awful. This this is pretty decent to be fair. For what it is, if you have to bear in mind what it is, then it's uh yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Well, here we go, street course. By the way, the analog control in this game is not true analog. It's, it's a replacement for digital. It's, it doesn't matter how gently I turn the wheel. It still goes full on by the look of it. Yeah. It just slows down how quickly I go full on. Spinning out, shit. I'm locked into a spin there. Okay, let's do a race. Wow, the AI is violent. I like it. got me bad. Do you want, let's get back to it. I'm last. pop up and distortion Polygons do distort quite bad when you get close to them, in first person view especially. Yeah, look at them, they go super janky. As do the driver's heads.
in and out. Man. Okay, well, that was Michael Schumacher's Formula Car something or other. Not bad. It's not going to get in the top 100 list. It's not a disappointment. It's not one of the worst games on the PlayStation, so there's kind of no point continuing playing it, really. That was that was okay. It's, yeah, Michael Schumacher Racing World Kart 2002. Not bad. Not bad. Quite a welcome surprise. So, what's next? What is next? Let's see what we can play. What are we gonna play? What are we gonna play? Ooh, um, you know what? No, we've done that already. We've done Muppets Race Mania already. Have we done NBA Hang Time for the PlayStation? I can't remember if we've done it or not. Which means we must do it. Do it good. I love NBA Hang Time. Every version on every machine is awesome. Loved it on the N64, loved it on the PlayStation. I played it most on the PC. But I also had it on the SNES, the, the, the Mega Drive. Or, you know, the Genesis as it's better known stateside. I love this game. It's just something about it. Just just absolutely incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna have to adjust my memory card slightly. Let's let's get rid of the memory card. Okay, that should do it. No, okay. So I'm going to need to apply a second controller. Just a moment. Do a quick reset and then we should be good to go. He's on fire. Hang down. No. Gosh darn it. Alright, so let's shut down the emulation. Let's go to controllers. We're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way, aren't we? Yeah. Typical. Bloody thing's not working properly. Right. Let's go to controllers, pad two. Let's go, uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. You might hear a couple of beeps, don't worry about it. Yeah, that should be enough to get the job done. The job done, we shall. I'm in the zone. Oh, yeah, let's create a player. Jugsy four seven two three because it rhymes. And let's pick ahead. I am always the wolf man. Let's have a all black uniform. We're all grey. Yeah, let's go grey. Now attributes. No. 
I think that will do for now. Privileges, big head. Ooh, 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 ooh. Drone big head. Nickname. Big Daddy. That will do me. Now let's play. Does that mean this No! Lame. After making my character and doing all that, <laughs> I type it in wrong. Bollocks. <laughs> right, let's exit and go back. What was he thinking? Yeah, exactly. I was rushing. I was going too fast to get to the game because I'm in the zone. Let's go. There we go. Boom. It's got to be the Chicago Bulls. I love Tony Kukoc. Tony Kukoc was my teammate for years and years playing this. Jugsy and Kukoc for the win. Now, I haven't played this on PlayStation for a while. Gotta get used to the buttons. Okay, so it's a horizontal layout. So cross is jump, circle is pass. when I play this I like to I like to bully the opposition a bit boom shakalaka Close one. Boom shakalaka. Shamalama ding dong. Should we go for a three point? Oh, nothing but net. Shakalaka. Okay, so we lead at the end of the first. Boom. Pardon me. I have been drinking a couple of beers. I'm a little bit gassy. Come on. Go for it, Cook. Nah, lame. <gasps> no! There goes our lead. It's 
back again with Tide. Very much an end to end game right now. Yeah. supposed to be covering. Go on, send it home, Tony. What? Yeah, you're jamming in, buddy. Yeah. Get a final basket. Nope. But we are in the lead still. Only by one point, but we're in the lead. Wow, Kukoc got reamed. Let's go with Scotty. Scotty, way too hotty, Pippin. He's hot from the free throw, hot from the dunk line, hot at steals, and hot at giving the ball to the opposition. Fire. It's just going end to end to end to end. See, I can't catch up with him. I'm not fast enough. You need to win four games to build up your attributes, so. Points behind. That's not good. Six points behind. It's all going wrong. What the hell, Mary? Can't even get that. <laughs> Ten points down in one quarter. Ouch. Ouch. This is a bad beat. Because I'm on, on stream, that's why. I'm saying, no, you're on stream, I'm going to make you look bad. Make you look like a noob. They're on fire.
Oh. Now this game is over. Unless the RNG is strictly in my favour, this is over. Now I know I've got a clutch rating, but it's not going to be that strong, surely. Yeah, that just solidifies my point. Well, we've halved the lead. And it's all over again. <laughs> now they're just completely screwing me. No, Jugsy, you're gonna look like a noob on your stream. Yes. By Vancouver, of all teams. They're just picking me apart. It is a blowout. I keep going for the three points and getting nowhere. Just get stolen. Well, at least we get a final score. Yes, indeed. They do. They pasted me. <laughs> Basically, in one quarter, that game went from absolutely awesome, even tight game, to holy shit, what the hell happened? But that is NBA Jam, and sorry, not NBA Jam, NBA Hang Time. And it is a fantastic successor to NBA Jam. Of course, NBA Jam, do I put it in the top list? NBA Hang Time is going in the top list, but NBA Jam as well, man. I've got a real soft spot for this game too. And as we're doing a somewhat sporty theme, let's play it. Don't worry, it's not going to be sports games all night. We are going to mix up. But I just wanted to play it. I, I just, yeah. NBA Jam! Should we do some of the hidden characters? Now, I'm pretty sure there are some good hidden characters in this one. Let's have a look. It's quite a few. So what are we going to have? Which one are we going to pick? There's so many. I forgot how many hidden characters this game had. But it's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be. Okay. We're going to play as the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Sit on my... Look at my kingdom. I was finally there. To slam a good dunk as the Prince of Bel-Air. Format memory card number three. What's going on? There we go. Showtime. Tonight's matchup. Bulls versus Cavaliers! Yeah. Doom doom boom doom boom doom. Here's the tip. Harper! 
Humper, where you at? Excuse me! It feels somewhat slow yeah. compared to the old well, compared to the newer NBA hang time. And the controls are back to a vertical layout. Which is gonna throw me off for a little while. So it's now square to shoot, circle to pass, or or cross to pass. Oh, my moment has been stolen. Yeah, there we go. I'm on fire, baby. Well, that lasted a long time. And they've even the score. It's only when you go back to TE that you realise how many differences there are between TE and hang time. I mean, I, I way prefer hang time. But I can see why some people would still like TE. It's a much more methodical game. Bit of a slower pace, bit less hectic, but still crazy enough. The AI is a bit dumber. As I said, I'm a bit of a ruffian when it comes to these games. I do like to push people about. Doesn't always work in my favour, but when it does, it really does. And that screwed me. Or maybe not. Just got the lead. They're going to do a how Mary shot. No, we're going to do a how Mary shot. Scotty. Pippen. 
the RNG is really working against me now. I'll let the AI take it. Boom. Come on, that was a clean shot. How could that miss so badly? Pippen. Send it home, Pippin. Just two is good enough. See, that was at the height of the jump. The RNG is just hammering me when I go for three-pointers now. It tries to keep the game fair by reducing your chance of taking that shot. So I'm just going to drive it home instead. Give me the ball. Dorothy, grab the rebound. Press, grab the rebound. Oh. Monster jam. Yeah. Dorothy, press. No. No, come on. Grab the rebound. Pick it up and send it home. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll take that ball, please. No, don't go putting it in my end zone. I didn't give you permission to do that. Great pass, Pippin. Sorry, Will. There we go. What? Dorothy. Really? Come Frank. on. Excuse me. Just gonna send it up and hope. Yeah. Wow, it's sunken. Nice. To Dorothy. To Frank. Frank. Well. A bit like the NBA Hangtime game, one quarter seemed to just go in one team's favour, and that was my team. So you can bet the next quarter I'm just going to get absolutely smashed and shut down. The rubber banding on this game was quite something. Quite something. We're going to stay with our players. I found out at a later date that the injury stat doesn't mean anything you, your players don't get fatigued or damaged or, or hurt or lose their 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 abilities so the injuries means nothing but 10 points lead that means everything Come on, take the shot fair enough fair enough outplayed 
got snatched. Had to really hold on to that one, but it was worth it. Come on, we can get it. Pass my way. No! Up and in. It's not the shoes. It's the drugs. drive it in but it can't get anywhere so it's from downtown it gets denied much like planning permission ah. well fought well fought for that point or two points excuse me oh. Somebody better call the doctor. That was a nasty hit. Look at that gap just gradually closing and closing and closing. I got pushed off the course then. Off the, uh, of course. <laughs> and off the court. Fresh, drive it in. Oh, no. Driving license revoked. Goaltending. Let's try that again. Oh, they're catching right up. They're just a three pointer behind. I gotta drive it in somehow. William, grab the rebound. No, this is their equalizing shot. Oh, no, I thought they'd go for a three point. I was wrong. They're just gonna go for two twos. And the game's gonna let them have it. Just two. Ah. On that clutch, you're gonna have to fight tooth and nail for it. Yeah. Okay, well, my fire was short lived, but I've still got a five point lead. Make that seven. No? Oh, you son of a bitch. Make that three point lead. Okay, final quarter. There's only a three pointer in it. Are we gonna win? No, we're not. Because this game cheats like a mofo. Oh. 
I'm a pump fake. William, happy move. Boom. That felt good. Good break. That didn't. That was a break. Happy move. Pass from behind the backboard. Right. Oh. Do I like NBA Street? Yeah, I do. Especially Volume Two. I think it was that was my favourite. I quite liked NBA Ballers as well. That was alright. Delivers a facial. Oh. How dare you, you naughty boy. Stop taking my ball. I'll have that back, thank you, and I will pass it to my friend. Who will dunk it to your neck. Mistake. Rectified. Rejectified. Deflectified. Damn. Ugh. Hit the dectified. As in, I take it from the enemy's clutches and sink it into their basket. Boom. I would say there's no stopping me now, but there's 40 seconds on the clock. They're going to stop me now. Just four points down. Four points in 30 seconds is easily attainable. Mm. I need one more of those to secure the win. I can still claw this back. Come on, come on. Yeah, that will do it. Three shots in 15 seconds or two three-pointers is kind of tricky, especially when the ball's being juggled. Yeah, we got this win. In the bag. We just need to hold on to the ball, and it's game over, Sunny Jim. Oh. Redeemed for the NBA hang time loss. Chicago Bulls win. Like 1990s all over again. Boom. Yeah. Shama Lama Ding Dong. What do I think of Eternal Darkness for GameCube? It rules. It's a great game. It's a little bit rough around the edges by today's standards, but it's still a great game. Great concept. Great idea. Very well realized. But that, ladies and gentlemen, was NBA. <laughs> Sorry, I'll say that again after my yawn. That was NBA Jam Tournament Edition on the PlayStation. An awesome title, I'm sure you will agree. And the last title of the NBA Jam series before it went into the 3D arena. Now, they did NBA Jam Extreme, which was a crushing disappointment, but we will save that for another day. I think we've done enough in the way of sports games. Uh, for one evening. So, um, yeah. Let's do something a little bit different. Hi, Alexander. 
No worries. The stream's always late. <laughs> In case you hadn't noticed, I, I have no rhyme or reason to whatever I'm doing, usually. So come in when you're free, sit down, chill out a while with me, spend a bit of time, have a bit of fun, shoot the breeze, play some games, it's all good. So what have we played so far today? We've played Night and Baby, we played Michael Schumacher's Car 2002, we played Madden 96 Unreleased Beta, we played Madden 97. Madden 2005 uh, NBA Hang Time NBA Jam TE And now we're on to this Whatever happened to Taito? Um Are they still around? I think Taito is still around I know they made some, some PSP games Yeah, they're still about They've still got 600 odd employees according to Wikipedia. Um, I'm guessing that they play mobile games now. They do the mobile thing. You know, how lame is that? Uh, previous glories just wouldn't hold them. I do remember them doing some DS games. DS games like uh, Rainbow Islands Revolution, Bubble Bubble Revolution. They did some uh, some reduxes on Xbox Live Arcade not that long ago as well. Um, oh dear, it seems like this game is another one that we're going to have to swap emulators for. So let's do that now. Let's try it again. Come on, when you're quite ready. What do you mean, disc not usable? It's perfectly usable, thank you very much. Okay, so this is something completely different. It might be great, it might not be. We'll find out together. This is... That's right, Power Shovel. By Taito! Watch the power shovel, listen, get it with the power shovel, oh yeah, get it, or we'll drive power shovel. Heavy English menus. Just do it. Beginner mode. You can have a hard job, you can have a practice mode, or a beginner's mode. So let's start with the beginner mode. Soup scan, duplicating the shadow guide. Job simulator. Must keep twice as much to pass the test. Yeah. 
<laughs> I killed it. Okay, once the guide is gone, I've completely lost my train of thought. I've just dumped what I have. There's triangle, square. And X to raise, turn, flip out. There we go. God, I wish my wages were that good just for shoveling dirt. Wow, I'm in the wrong job. Well, now you have to drive the shovel. Hajime! Little truck driving home. Well, okay. I want to state for the record this is a USA game, not a Japanese one. I couldn't be bothered to even translate the credits. Okay, let's skip them. Don't dig different place. Why not? I want to dig wherever I want. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Interesting, I suppose. Taito Hitler in the corner. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, power shovel. Let's get it with the power shovel. Oh, wait, okay. So it's a shop. <laughs> the shop. Is the uh, yeah, is to get it. You can buy credits. Wow. Oh, 
Well, let's carry on driving the power shovel. Let's go a couple of steps up. See how complex this thing gets. Let's go for a hard job. Okay, so we gotta smash stuff. Again, more my kind of job. This is actually getting a bit tricky. Wow, I'm running out of time really, really fast. Really fast. Wow. Keep ambitious. trash as best I can, but I am trash, so. Wow. Okay, that could be quite interesting. An interesting game, but it's not going to be in the top 100. It's not going to be in the disappointing list. It's not going to be in the worst PlayStation games ever, so we can return to that some other time. Right now, yeah, it's not going to be in any of the lists, so we might as well stop playing it for the time being now what's the time it's 2 a.m here in the uk now let's see what we can play next now here's something i haven't played in years I have no idea if it's any good anymore, but I remember it being pretty decent back in the day. This is Rapid Reload. A Metal Slug style shmup. I hope it's good, because I have this penned in to possibly hit the top 100 list. Looks good. Sounds good so far. Yeah, it's a bionic commando. That looks just like the anime character. Insert name of all anime characters here. That's Rapid Reload's introduction. Let's get straight to it. Axel Sonics or Ruka Hetfield? And don't they just look like every anime character you've ever seen? Completely generic. Blue hair included. The generic blue haired boy. 
but it matters not because we're blowing shit up and it still feels great to play I haven't played this game in 15 20 years still feels good reminds me a lot of um, Gunstar Heroes actually That vibe definitely. Here comes the boss. I'm dazed, confused. And I got nothing to lose, so I might as well just keep plowing into it. Area boss crushed! Oh look at me, I'm a transparency effect in the early PlayStation era. I must be shown off to show the prowess of the system. And I will be rubbed in the face of Saturn owners for eternity. Even though the Saturn could do transparencies, you just have to do them in a different way. Yeah, this still feels good to play. Even after all this time. Very early platformer, this one. Platform shmup. I think this came out in 95, the first year the PlayStation came out. And it wasn't that well received because, of course, the PlayStation was all about these wow 3D graphics. So a 2D shmup like this, yeah, it didn't really get that much attention. Okay, I'm gonna get hammered now, I can't escape. We're going this side. We're going down, area boss. Pop goes the weasel. Yay, sprite scaling. Area boss crushed. Now we have to deal with the vertical assault. Nearly fell off the screen. That's never good. And it's the elevator stage. We're going through tropes at quite a rate of knots here.
So you're after Valkyrie? Too bad, because us pumpkin heads will get the treasure first. So where's the weak point? It's the legs, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't appear that I'm doing any damage to the to the boss right now. Now I'm doing damage to the boss. Get out of it, you guardian! Yeah, you're going down. Guardian crushed. You shouldn't judge people by their appearances. Okay, maybe you aren't a generic anime character, though. Damn it, we'll find the Valkyrie first at any cost. Okay. Whoa. I have not done the best start to this level. Come on, are you gonna actually die or what? Yeah, okay. So you've got plenty of guns to cycle through. All are great for their own uh, well, little things. I personally like the homing beam because you can hit somebody from any angle with it from quite a distance away. But it is slow and it doesn't do much damage. So it's not really useful for all situations. Now I'm just gonna get hammered by this guy. Come on, I gotta kill him soon. Ah! No! Let's continue. Play a bit more. Right, we've lost most of our power ups. So we really need to kill some enemies quickly without taking too much damage. So without taking too much damage. Ah. That's not good. Okay, we got some power up time. Let's begin to use it.
Yeah, that's more like it. Now he's going down. Okay. I'm low on health, though. Life up, yeah. Desperately needed that. Ah! All right. The bus rush. Ow. That comedian's tongue goes a long, long way. It's hard to dodge. Every boss crushed. If I can't beat a kid like this, us pumpkin heads will be in disgrace. Prepare to be disgraced. Or maybe not. You have a load of HP, little boss. And the attacks are really hard to jump over. I mean, what am I supposed to do there? Yeah. See, how can you dodge that? I suppose you have to dive at the exact perfect moment but that was rapid reload and that is still a very very good game indeed i really enjoy that game um i think that could well make a bottom end top 100 game yeah quite like that quite like it a lot and i think we've got time for just one more game 
What do you reckon? One more? One more. Now, I have no idea what this game's about. This is a game released only in the Netherlands that I've never played before. So, um, it'll be interesting. It could be just a different name of a game I already know. But, let's play Rough and Tumble. And that will be the final game for this evening. I know it's been a bit heavy on the old sports games today. So I do apologise for that if you're not a fan of the old sports games. But, you know, things happen. Speaking of things happening, or not happening, as the case may be. This game ain't loading, so we'll try the other emulator again. We'll switch back and forth, and back and forth. Uh, story of my life at the moment, with these MUs. Now what did I say? We were going to play Rough and Tumble. Now I do believe this is a game that's exclusive to the Netherlands only. If it works, we will play it. If it doesn't, then we won't. And it's not going to work, is it? Nope. Okay, we'll try one last MU. This is an MU I haven't tried in a long, long time, actually. wonder if it's any good. I guess we'll find out if it loads rough and tumble. And it is running it. Wow. Okay. So one of the earliest emulators seems to be rather accurate, and it might be one I need to consider using a bit more often. So let's uh, let's get the MU set up. Let's get the controller going. So let's control uh, define. So what? Uh, bang, bang, square, circle, select, start. L1, L2, L3, R1, R2, R3. Game controller. Auto. Okay, so I know you can't see anything right now. I'm just adding this in right now as a, a image. Just bear with me a second. Now hopefully it should come up on the screen about now. Hopefully. If not, then we'll have to try another alternative method to do it. Try window capture instead. Yeah, that's working. So you know what? I think this game might be called Rough and Tumble elsewhere in the world. Uh, in Netherlands. But I think this game is called... 40 winks everywhere else. This looks very much like 40 winks. So we will compare and contrast in a moment. 
must have got rough and tumble. Localized? Yeah, this looks an awful lot like 40 Winks. An awful lot like 40 Winks. Should we compare it? Let's load up 40 winks in the same MU. I think it's the same game. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's the same game. Let me just make sure that my cursor doesn't show up in the recording. Yeah, as I thought, it's 40 winks. So the character names are still the same. Okay, no talking, no pillow fight, and no reading at the covers. But mom, bedtime's boring. Yeah, there's nothing to do but lie here getting bored. Oh, hush. What about dreaming? What about it? That says dreaming is a period of elevated brain activity occurring during certain sleep phases. Elevated brain activity's boring. What? Didn't Daddy mention the winks? No. Who are they? The winks are little creatures who live in the land of dreams. It's their job to make sure all your dreams are of the very highest quality. All day long they're tucked in bed, but at night, when you're fast asleep, they go to work. With their help, you can be whatever you want. A superhero, a robot, a beautiful fairy, or a clown. You can even be a monster. Can I be a ninja? Yes, but only if you're a nice ninja. Mom, sometimes I have a dream, and it's not like that at all. Hmm. Well, those are the hoodwinks. Those are the hoodwinks? They Ooh. make dreams, too. Only their dreams are horrid. Don't worry, no matter how scary it seems, the good winks always come along and put things right. They tell off the hood winks and chase them away. But mom, what if something happened to the winks? Who'd save us from the hood winks then? Sweetheart, nothing is going to happen. Foreshadowing. Well, you two would have to go and rescue them, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay, you two, settle down now. Sweet dreams. Night, mom. Can you guess what happens? Oh, botheration! Oh, botheration! Where is that lazy good for nothing? Red bear! Uh -oh. Look at them all, reveling in their dreams, wallowing in the sun. Mm. Innocent, mocking me with their nighttime flights of fancy. You my rooster not capture? Threadbare, I am sorry. Did I wake you? My master. Are you sure? You weren't just having a little snoozy woozy. No, a great one. Good. That would be typical of you. Indulging in your most basic desires for sleep, but I need you to carry out my audacious and brilliant plan. Mm. Master. Yes, alert the hoodwinks. I want them to kidnap all the winks and lock them up. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, enough for shadowing, I think. So the dithering seems especially awkward on this emulator. Hmm. 
We already know how to jump, let's skip. Very many places to go. Looks like this is the way. That's a game save. Took me home. Let's go back again. Spooky. Spooky, polygonal, dysfunctional, dysmorphational, warping. This is the horrid haunted house. There are two wings hidden. Watch for things that go bump in the night. <sighs> Sorry about the smell, but we've been dead for years. Ha 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 ha. Okay, Spidey, you're going down. Let me catch my Z's. So you've got cogs, you've got moons, you've got um, Z's. It's all over the place. Got creepy photos in the corner. Platforms we can only just about reach. So swivel sucks. Go very, very carefully. Because the camera goes all over the place every time you jump. Okay, green slop is never good. Oh look, floating platform. Let's hop to it. So fun fact, there was a Nintendo 64 version of this game scheduled to be released, but it got cancelled. Um, starting to understand why. This game is, well, it's the epitome of mediocrity. It's just unspecial in every single way. There's nothing wrong with it as such, there's just 
Nothing that stands out whatsoever. Okay, so I use moons to do that special attack. What does that switch do? Did it do anything in the previous room? No. Oh, something's moving. Something's happening. All right. Okay, so now we go down the alternative route and we'll get more cogs. So there's my first wink. Just one left to rescue. Aye. There wasn't anything else down here, was there? Nope. Nothing at all. So let's backtrack. There's something up there in that corner. Dream key. What does that do? Come on, jump up the platforms. Get the continue balloon. in the house. Yeah, okay, now we can go to the next door. Zombies, yeah! Love killing zombies, always. Okay, well, pushing the box is cumbersome. Very, very awkward indeed. Because the camera keeps rotating around. It makes things difficult. Not impossible though. Wow. Yeah, that was put there just to be an asshole. cogs I can't kill the spooky ghost so I just have to run as I grab these cogs hope it doesn't push me into the warp so that gives me 20 now so I should be able to get through this door Nothing. Apart from damn near kill me. Oh, I can butt bounce the buttons. Okay. 
Now I'm a jester? Right. So now I can butt bash. Oh, I'm missing one cog. Does that mean I have to go back? Yeah, it will, won't it? Take that dream key. We'll have to go back through this area. At least the box is still where I left it. I don't have to push that garbage again. Losing my jester power. Jumping, there we go. What does that do? There's the last cog. Right, okay, I've got 30 now. So now we can go through the next door. So I'm going to guess that I have to jump on top of these. That's going to be a pain. There's one more cog there. jump across oh, for... uh... yeah when you're a platform game and your platforming doesn't feel satisfying and it feels sloppy and slippery and just generally not that much fun you've got a problem camera won't stay still enough for you to reach the platform, you've got even more of a problem. Right, finally. We are in. We have our 40. Let's go to the next door.
Now that's a platform to somewhere. So does that make the chair placid enough to move? No. But it does open this area. Oh, unbelievable. Nice animation. Now what? I take it we go through that corner. But how do we actually do that? Or do we just use the picture? Try butt bouncing on this button again. Is there another way we can get up there? This is driving me nuts now. Feels like there should be another platform, but there isn't. Ah, screw it. Let's just leave. So we've done all the rooms downstairs, haven't we? Moose is snotting at me. Oh. So that takes us back to Ugh. That's annoying. Really annoying. I am so pissed off right now. You know what? Screw this game. Screw it. In the eye. Forget it. It's done. I am finito with that game. It's it's not good. It's not one of the worst. It's not one of the worst PlayStation games ever. But it's just it's just Well, you see it. It's fucking awful. It's annoying, terrible. Just, just poor in, in every aspect. It just, just doesn't excel in any way, shape, or form. I, I don't know. It blows. Either way, it's done. And so am I for the evening. Thank you for sticking around and watching, those that did. Um, until the next stream, I will see you then. Um, so I'm going to sleep because I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm even saying right now. So um, I'm going to get some good old shut-eye.
and get to sleep. And if you live in the UK, I suggest you do the same because it's very, very late or very early, depending on how you look at it. Until next time, bye for now.